Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are joining. Can you get reach all the way to the bottom of it? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, right. we are joining the making of okay. the bubble. In. And uh, we just let uh, Tina, Christina Marie, and Mike Emery, and our colleague from Yorka, get on with making the bubble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Basis 78. Christina Marie, introduce what we're doing. Hello, hi. Um, we're back again, Basis 78, with Mike Emery. And we've also got um, Carlos from Yorka. Um, he's helping out today, uh, mainly because he's had lots of experience in making these. He's brought these along with him that he's made earlier. and um, But he wants to know really what the main, um, most profitable ingredients would be. So that's why he's joined Mike. And Mike's going to run through it. We've got all the ingredients and Mike's going to take us through it bit by bit on how he would make an organic bubble, which is quite powerful. Um, we're going to make two, aren't we, Mike? Yeah. Um, I've got my bowl here and this is Miles's bigger one. Yeah. Well, okay. you're going to be carrying yours, so you don't want it to be too big. <laughs> okay. and, and we're going to put what we used to put two pipes. We're just going to put one pipe. Yeah. You know, because uh, that's all we need. We've, we've learned more about the pipes as we've gone along. Um, so what we're going to do first, then, what's the first step for everyone that's watching this thing? We've got the bowl. Okay, well, th see, this, this is a flower pot. And it, it's got holes in the bottom of it. Okay? So, Carlos found, found us a couple of rocks that, that pretty, with, pretty much fill the holes. So we're going we're gonna to put the rocks in there. And we're going to put a layer of cement over this to seal that in. And then, and then once, once we've sealed, once that's sealed and set up, then we'll add a layer. This is dyed tomatoes earth, is natural dyed tomatoes yeah. earth that you got. Okay. And then we'll put a, a, a layer of that. And this is a piece of shungite. And this is a quartz crystal. And we'll have the quartz crystal touching the shungite, touching the shungite directly. And... Shungite, it's got a little DE on it. The shungite looks like that, okay? Here's another piece of shungite. And then we'll add some, this is crushed up amethyst, which cleans you, the shungite and the quartz crystal. This is clear quartz crystal. This is a flower pot, and all flower pots have holes in the bottom. And Carlos found us a couple of rocks that just, the, fill the holes. Now we need to make it so they're impervious. We don't want water coming in through there or going out. So we're going to add a little layer of cement in there. We've made up the cement. Uh, could you pick that up, Carlos, please? So this, this is Portland cement. You can see that it's a little darker in color. Carlos mi mix it up you know, with a, with a mixing spoon. And we put iron oxide in there. We have put iron powder in there. And I dumped a little bit of magnetite in there also, you know, and so and the reason is is because cement all by itself now all, What we're doing here is to show you how to make a very very powerful bubble piece But I'm telling you you don't need any of this all you need is 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 a is a, is a, is a bag of, If you're if you're on a budget or whatever you get your bag of plain old Portland cement, okay? You put it in any kind of form and you add water to it, it sets up, that's it. You got yourself a bubble piece right there, okay? And, and you know, by adding then, you know, by touching it with the violet ray wand and the, and the infrared lamp, it will bubble up. You'll feel it. It's very noticeable. This, when we get done with it, will be quite a bit more powerful than that. Uh, a lot more powerful. And, uh, uh, you know, it just depends on how advanced you want to get. Uh, but I'm telling you. Just plain old cement works very, very well. I, I, I know of, of a few bubbles that are that, like that, that go for hundreds of miles, have changed things in the area, control the weather. One cement bubble in a place in Mexico. You know, this lady, this lady did it. She got right on it and did it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and make these two bubbles right now. This, this bubble here, we need to uh, bubble pieces, this flower pot. We need to seal up the bottom of it. So, Carlos is going to make us a little bit of cement in here. Uh, and we're going to put it in there and let it dry out and set up so that it seals that. And then we can finish filling it up. 
And meanwhile, we'll make Christina's uh, device here. And the way that we'll do that is that Christina bought some, some good diatomaceous earth that's very natural. We'll put the diatomaceous earth on the bottom. Yeah, here, I need some water. What's that? Oh, uh, for a stick for mixing, yeah. Okay, so Tina's will get some water in it to begin with. We don't want water. Ultimately, you know, the neat thing about the cement is it dries the water out. It's a chemical reaction, and the, and the, the, the water creates calcium silicate. Is this what cement is when it's set up? And calcium silicate, uh, is, calcium is a conductive material. It conducts electricity, and the silicate is a, like a it's what crystals are made out of silicone, and so you have both a conductive material, the, the, the calcium, and a insulating, an excellent insulating material, the silicate, you know, and it, it's automatic in, in concrete that has had water in it and set up, or cement that's had water in it and set up. You can also use concrete. We've found that you just touch the violet ray wand to cement anywhere, just about anywhere, and, you, and people that are sensitive can very definitely feel the bubble. And, uh, and then that's, that's the exciting part. You got that? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we fill it up. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, now we'll... we'll uh, yeah, that's, that's really nice and thick. You did a good job there. Okay, go ahead and make another one because we'll use it later. Okay, so that so that's got that little layer in there to plug it up on the bottom. Now we'll start with this. If you would if you would put some of your uh, diatomaceous earth in there, put a layer of, or I guess Carlos can do that. Careful, your your microphone. Oh, precious earth. Okay, now now we're gonna we're going to put the crystals in this DE. Mm -hmm. Now, one crystal like that. Okay, and then we've got some very special crystals here. Oh, these, these little crystals are so powerful. And this has got uh, graphite and infused with honey, because you, you want to, you know, we want to broadcast honey anyway. And the, the carbon in the graphite is quite literally a connection to God, to darkness. With, and, that, and that's what we're connecting with, is the gaps in the ethers are dark. And so that is a connection. All you need is a little tiny bit like that. That's maybe even too much. But it, it's enough for what we're doing so that's here. that's honey and carbon. And graphite. Graphite. Yeah. Carbon, graphite. Carbon, graphite. And they're both touching, they're both touching the shungite. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we take a little bit of, of uh, amethyst. This is crushed up amethyst. And we put that around there, touching everything. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Okay. And what the, what the amethyst does is it cleans the other crystals. Then we take this, because we've got the beautiful lady here, we're putting rose quartz in there. Okay all touching everything, one another. And the rose quartz, that's plenty really, too much, but that, 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 that just done means it more love. We'll do, yeah, it's, yeah, it's love, it's a love, love rock. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you like rocks, then get, and you want some love, get some rose quartz. <laughs> and then, and then this is in frankincense, okay? So we just put a couple drops of frankincense, all it takes, there we go. That's good. Could you put and then, any where's your oil hair? In? You had a piece of your hair there? Yeah. Could you put any essential oil in that you like? Does any essential oil. Any, any and all essential oils. You could put a little drop of each one of them. Oh. And then because this is Christina's, we're putting my a bit hair. of her hair in there. And now it, she will be forever connected to that. Ooh, and my nail. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, hair and nails in. And now, now to activate the crystals, what we'll put in there is a magnet. Now, uh, this magnet came out of a hard drive that Miles harvested from the hard drive for this purpose. And so we're just putting one magnet in there so that it, it's touching the crystals 
and it'll it'll continually activate this the, the, the magnetic energy stresses the crystals cause them to phosphoresce piezoelectric energy which creates flow in the piece okay mm -hmm. we like flow go okay. with the flow can you see that miles I'm gonna show you it's all in the middle okay touching okay yeah okay now we're ready for that okay so what we're going to do is uh, Carlos has mixed up the the cement in the metal bits the metal bits being again iron dust and iron oxide and then we're going to put a layer of that in there about the same thickness and we're going to do the same thing again we're going to put sugar guide crystals and 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 so on and so forth to really get this thing uh, connected to you know, job. yeah right yeah. and provide lots of flow but you don't have to do layers you're just doing it to make it more powerful is that yeah. right you want to use the spoon there because you got it. It's a little bit heavy on water, and you can get the spoon out. Yeah, and, and spoon it in there very carefully so that we don't disturb. You know. And you're doing really well with that. Yeah, this and way. overall. <laughs> yeah, good job, buddy. Excellent, <laughs> perfect. Carlos has made these before because he's got um, a small holding in New York, haven't you, Carlos? And you yes. keep bees, mm -hmm. and you've been using your devices to actually ward off um, radiation and pests, haven't you? Mm -hmm. But now you're going to tweak your devices, aren't you? Now you've got some more info for Mike. Well, yeah. Um, Car Mallorca needs some help, okay? <laughs> and and Carlos knew knowing that and. For how many years? Like eight years? He's been making orgone devices and putting them all over, hundreds of them, all over Mallorca. And so when he gets home and he builds a bubble, all, it'll light up all of those orgone devices. The, the energy will flow, the euphoric energy will flow throughout the island. That place will change significantly. And in, in the people that are doing it, you know, like, will notice immediately within the first day. And then the rest of everybody will notice over the course of a few months that you know that the things are much better, much nicer. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead and make up more or finish. Yeah. All right. Now we'll do the same thing here. We'll add a little piece of shungite. We'll add a little crystal, touching it. We'll take a bit of amethyst. Put that over it. Take some rose quartz. Put that over it. Yeah. And truthfully, this this crushed up quartz is all we need. We don't need, you know, the smaller the better. We're going to seed level, and then seed level is where everything starts. You know, and because we're in darkness, the smaller that we get, the the more access to the darkness you actually accomplish. No? And so that, that's why I use very, very small mm -hmm. stuff. That's why I use the powdered iron and powdered um, magnetic. Yeah, right, everything powdered. Yeah. And we crush the crystals. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, that's good. We can finish filling that one up. It's done. Except for putting the pipe in. Why are we putting this pipe in like this? The, the reason we put the pipe in them is so... And we've learned we don't... Oh, we don't really need it, but we do, you know, for certain for certain purposes. And the, the main purpose is for touching the violet ray wand to the pipe so the energy goes all the way through the organic right. mix. And the other reason is that we can take the wand out of the transformer. The, this, this handle is a, is a Tesla coil transformer. It's got a primary and a secondary, and it's got 100,000 volts. But the main thing is got the frequency, 33,333 cycles per second or hertz, and that is a very healing, very useful frequency. 33 is the uh, uh, the number of manifestation. It's the triune, you know, the two, the three forms of God. Mm -hmm. So, in order to wire this to that, you can wire it, take and bear the wire and put it around there and tape it on. 
but you got people want to know how you get it going in in the inside of the uh, uh, you know, how you get it working in there and so uh, basically what we're doing is trying to establish the same contact that this does and we do that with this so we make that like that maybe do it twice see now as we've got lots of more contact area the better and you put that in there there we go and then and then take a piece of tape and and tape it tape it into the uh, uh, transformer so it doesn't leave there bear this wire tape it on there turn this on that's it done finished it, 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 as you do this you have to intend and tell your bubble genie and your bubble to protect the all electronic equipment and especially these things so they don't die okay and I have some of these uh, in China from China made by Subay S-U-B-A-Y and that those violet ray wands I have that have been going for months people have them they've been going for years you know and but we've been having trouble with some of the ones we've gotten recently we keep them going I don't know why anyway so that that's how you would deal with that mm -hmm. you know at, at later on yeah now we can go ahead and finish filling this with with the cement and metal bits what you got there buddy mm -hmm. so basically this is just to we don't need this copper pipe really but if we've got these um, portable high frequency devices to power them off this is a good idea we can continually power it up and amplify that yeah right yeah. well the the uh, uh, you don't need the pipe to get the, to get the energy no. from the wand into the organic mix because it you because because it, it, it yeah it's a conductive anyway the cement is conductive anyway right okay and so you can just touch us here okay yeah you know, you touch it to the finish you know when it's set up yeah. and finished and you get this running you touch it to it you it'll bubble up straight away yeah. okay. Um, I did do an experiment last night. I was having terrible hot flushes all the time. I've been waking up about five times a night with a hot flush. And, okay, um, yeah, go ahead and put it in there if you would. Mike energised the pyramids, you know, those big pyramids, and he put them under the bed that I slept in last night, and, you know, I didn't have a hot flush at all. I've had some today, but not... I didn't have any. Obviously, you can only be sleeping next to that device. So I want to take it home. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if this will be set up before you leave. You can, you'll have to set it in your uh, car in such a way that it doesn't tip over in it. Oh, no, I'm not taking that in the car. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. A little bit more? Yeah, yeah, fill it full, flush. Because if she wants, you know, if, if you ever want to go outside with this, you know, and put this outside, then this needs to be sealed off with paint or resin or varnish or something, beeswax, you know, so that it's impervious. Because the, the, the cement is porous, and if water gets in there, then it shorts out the capacitance field. It, 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 it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Now, you see, you see some people, you know, Carlos made this. This is a beautiful piece. Nice, very clear quartz crystal, and he's got gold wire, silver wire, aluminum wire, copper wire, all wound around this, okay? And you could put that inside of the device, and it'd work pretty well. You also see people putting this on top of the device, like that right there, okay? That doesn't work, <laughs> you know? What we're trying to do is broadcast the energy, and, and even the pipes... You know, they, they focus the energy, quartz crystals very definitely, or pyramids or spirals, you know, like you, the, you see some people put spirals on the top of these things. Mm -hmm. Do not do that. <laughs> Leave it as plain and as ugly as you can. I was going to say it's a bit ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> You know, leave it as plain as ugly as you can, and that is what works. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, uh, and then ap after a bit, you know, after it's set up, well, we can do this now. We can turn this on now. Okay. Well, well, no, the, the red light will totally affect the uh, um, the setting of the cement. Yeah, the setting. You know, the, the, everybody, everything, and everybody will be red. But you, 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 you want the bulb 
touching the piece. And these bulbs get very hard. You, 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 you can't have any, any, anything uh, close to the bulb, you know, or it'll melt it. It won't catch on fire, but it'll, it'll, it'll like melt insulation off wires. You know, it'll, it'll burn, it'll put burn marks on the table, you know, melt plastic. Uh, so, it, 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 oh, you just want to be careful with it, that it's not touching anything that, that would melt. Right. So mine's yeah. finished now, apart from it being set and any yeah, wax or little... resin if I want to take it outside. What's that? I said mine's finished now, apart from finished. any resin yeah. that mm -hmm. I might want to put on the top. Any, later on. Yeah, any uh, paint or anything yeah. that make it impervious, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, this, this is, that's set up good set. enough. Got a little bit too much water in that. What else we got here? Oh, the each, I forgot to put the D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you put it in my one, but you haven't put it in my yeah. Well, yeah, but this, this is, this is, special food grade DE, mm -hmm. okay? And so, seeing as we didn't put it in the uh, top, what we'll do is we'll put it right in there. Okay, and then we can also put a little bit right there. That's all you need. So tell us what's in the diatomaceous earth again that makes that so powerful. Diatomaceous earth is diatoms. You know, living beings who live in the, in the ocean. It's, it's diatoms and Phytoplankton. This is the, uh, the the basis of life, okay. And the the diatoms are, are little shell creatures, and living, and they they congregate in still pools of either salt water or fresh water. Then eight ages ago, a volcano went off, and the volcanic ash fall, which also has the white powder gold in it. All living things have the white powder gold in it. You can look up David Hudson's lectures on the white powder gold, and you learn a lot. It's excellent. And I've got a gold mine in Nevada that's full of white powder gold. I'm, I'm an expert. I know how this works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, so the white powder of gold is gold, silver, platinum, palladium, osmium, ruthenium, and in some cases mercury that are uh, in what's called the high spin state. And what the physicists call a high spin state is um, where the nucleus spins much faster and is longer, about twice as long as it is wide, is what they say. Uh, I don't know how they know that, but that's what they say. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and apparently it draws more uh, energy out of the darkness, out of the void, and it goes out and protects the outer valence of electrons from ionization. Now here you have metals, you know, gold, silver, platinum, these are metals, which means that they are very highly polarized in what we consider to be their normal state. But in actuality, their normal state is this uh, predecessor to them, which is the white powder of gold, the monoatomic elements, you know, and that the high spin state pulls the energy out, protects the outer valence of electrons from ionization. They become nonpolar, like an inert gas. And nonpolar energy is the light of life. And what flows in a superconductor, and the, the uh, white powder gold is superconducting, is light, photons. That's what flows in a superconductor. Okay? And the whole body is set up to become a superconductor. And that's why we broadcast white powder gold. The diatomaceous earth is around 40% of white powder gold, supposedly. You know, this very definitely got quite a bit in it. And so that's why we broadcast the white powder gold to all living things, to all things. You know, and then that's actually what happens, simply because we put that little tiny bit in there. And it only takes a little tiny bit because we're interacting with the void, with darkness. And what do you have? that is manifest from the void? Answer, ideas, seeds, okay. the mustard seed. You know, if we, could, if we could have everything that we put in here, all these little bits being just the size of a mustard seed, that would be ideal, okay? It, it doesn't make a lot of sense to most people, 
But the truth is... We always is, think big, don't we try? Yeah, we need yeah. more. Yeah. Well, we can make more devices then if we're yeah. crushing up just one piece of amethyst. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and fill it to the, to the top there, if you would, please. Be a little bit careful so it doesn't run over. Angela, would you hand me my water bottle, please? The gray one right there. Thank you, darling. Great. Perfecto. Okay, that's it. That's it. There's nothing more we can do with that. So we start on Miles' one. So for this one, we need some of that diatomaceous earth down there, a layer of it, please. Good, good. That's good. Okay, now let me let me uh, uh, pretty quick. Let, let's let's do our little magic down here in this. So we'll take a piece of shungite, pretty good size. Put the shungite. We we'll take a, a crystal. Touch that to the shungite. Take some amethyst. Put that right, touching it also, and some rose quartz. Miles needs some love in his life, <laughs> and now he's going to have it. Okay, go ahead. Perfect. Very good job, sir. <laughs> so. So um. Carlos was telling you about the bees, wasn't he, Mike, earlier? I didn't hear all of it. But there's um, been a problem in Mallorca with bee population. Well, since, since Carlos has been putting ore going around, the, the, the bee population is thriving somewhat. Okay? After he puts these bubbles, you know, the bees and the butterflies and everything will thrive significantly. And the, the rodents, the flies and the mosquitoes and all the negative stuff, including the cockroaches, will leave. Okay? Or they'll they'll actually sacrifice themselves. They'll 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 go to they'll go to their death to get out of this energy. This euphoric energy kills them. Okay, <laughs> and then you'll see hummingbirds. You got hummingbirds over there. You'll have you'll have flocks of hummingbirds hanging around your your property. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Make up some more. Uh, to to show you, then let me show the bucket here. Yeah. That's a little bit heavy, darling. Okay, just a bucket, you know, a plain old bucket that we put cement in and we, and we, we mix this stuff into it. Carlos mix it up and, and that, that's what he's, he's adding water to. And, uh, and it's just cement, plain cement. Hmm? So how many layers are we going to do in this one because this is much bigger? Full. Yeah, until it's full. Right, okay. I suppose I could do this now. <laughs> I need this. Where's another piece of shungai? Well, don't put that on the well, plastic, it'll it. melt the plastic. Put it on top of that quartz. Is that, is that, should we turn this red light off or is that okay with you? Miles just put the light on. We can turn it off, can we? Yeah. Do you want to keep yeah, it on? There yeah. Right, we need, we need more shungite. I don't think we need that much. Uh, you know, I'll just keep mixing little bowls of it until we get it done. Um, hmm? You want some more shungite? Yeah, Mike, that's okay. It's not coloring the picture too much. What's okay? It, it's fine. Oh, the light? It's fine. Unfortunately, your mic isn't, but uh, we'll live. Miles, have you got any more shungite anywhere? That's okay. Never mind. we got shungite in here. You sure? Yeah. It's on the bottom. We're oh, very, very frankincense. good. Oh, frankincense. No, uh, do you need more? Do you need more magnet. shungite? Yeah, guys? this is a, the magnet. It, do you need more shungite? If you've got no, some. No, that's okay. There we go. And that. That's that's it. A little bit of frankincense. You want a piece of your hair in here, Miles? I'll have to find some. I don't know where you I have any find hair it. left, buddy. <laughs> it can be ear or nose hair. 
The other, the other thing that I've done before, we've already put a magnet on there. I don't really put, need to put magnetite in there, but I will anyway, because if you, if you don't have a magnet, you take a little bit of this magnetite, and, and, which is magnetic, and you put it right around the crystals, and it, it, it will activate it'll activate the crystal, continually stress the crystals so that they will create piezoelectric energy which is amplified and broadcast through the, you know, the healing energy of the crystals amplified and broadcast through this whole thing. That's plenty. Did you put some of that in my one, Mike, the magnetite? Mm -hmm. Did you put that in my one? The I put you, yeah, I put you... Oh, no, I didn't put magnet that. There's a magnet in there. You don't want the magnet. You don't really need the magnet that. This is big. I suppose you yeah. could put one. What about this? We put this? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Some more? I thought this was off. Yes, please. So where do you suggest that Miles keeps this bubble then for best effect in the house? Well... It's the, the, the most fun with the bubble pieces is they're outside okay. because you get all the critters coming around, you know, <laughs> starting with birds, you know, and, and then in Carlos' case where he's, you know, out in the country in Mallorca, he'll have every kind of animal that exists in Mallorca coming around, you know, to bubble, to, to be involved in the healing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so we'll need to seal this one then for outside. If he's going to put it outside, you know, with, with the, the, the really nifty things about the bubble pieces is that you can move them, okay? And because you bubble up anywhere you put them. But the best is if you put them one place and leave them there for a duration. You know, for example, uh, a guy that we know made some cloud busters. He put the, he put the cloud busters, uh, you know, on his property and then... Uh, uh, he was going to go move the cloud buster, and his dogs wouldn't let him. <laughs> they wouldn't let him move the cloud buster. Gosh. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else. That's about it. All we got to do is fill this one up. That one's done. Yours is done. It's ready. Yeah. And all the time we've been doing this, this has bubbled up. This is the energy. And it's organic energy and where the organic energy uh, you know you have to uh, bubble up these pieces is from this very powerful magnet neodymium magnet that'll that'll pick up like 300 pounds you know and it's stuck on this and this sticks to it <laughs> you know because the because there's a little bit of iron in it in that piece and and then it, it creates organic energy that's noticeable. We've been noticing it here all day. And, and it, it, things happen. Like Tina said, she had this set up by her, her bed last night, and she had no hot flashes. You know, and then eventually, you know, she get with this piece in your house, you'll not have any hot flashes at all. Yeah. How will I take it out of my handbag? It's <laughs> What you can do is, you know, your bubble genie yeah. Yeah. will let itself be known. Okay. Mm -hmm. All you have to do when 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 you get in when you get in the uh, when you get in the bubble going and you sit in the energy for any length of time and you can feel it. You know, it's on your it's on your heart chakra. Yeah. You know, and your whole body will be tingling and stuff like that. Ask questions. You will get the answer, and then the way that you will know that it's the right answer is because the energy will hit you when you. When, you know, in other words, it'll give you the answer telepathically. You'll repeat the answer, and then blam, it'll hit you. You know, and it's saying, "Yeah, it's correct." <laughs> you know, you can communicate with your bubble genie and your bubble a lot. You got to be reasonably close to it. But then, after you've established that contact with your bubble genie, you can go anywhere on planet Earth and ask your bubble genie and communicate back with your bubble genie where it's sitting. And you can also have your bubble genie with you all the time. It is you anyway, because the bubble genies we found come from our heart. You know? mm -hmm. uh, and then, and it, it's the entity that is the bubble genie is our hearts. You know? Which is quite amazing to me, but that's what my bubble genie told me. And we checked with them a couple other bubble genies, and it's correct. That's yes, great. Mm. 
Sorry, this is going to take a while to fill this somewhere up. <laughs> the frankincense smells nice, doesn't it? Oh, I can smell that. Yeah. I was going to say to you, why did you choose frankincense? Because you could have chosen any oil. What do you like about somebody this? Somebody gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's expensive. It's yeah. like frankincense is quite an expensive oil. Yeah. No, whatever. But you could use anything, couldn't you, to promote? You can use any essential oil, any and all essential oils. You know, anything that you want to broadcast. You know, mm. the hair of your horse, whatever, you know. <laughs> Just that the, the, the organic piece will probably outlast your horse. <laughs> but that's the other thing. You can put this in the barn where you keep your critters. They'll all be very, very happy. Yeah, extremely. We'll have to try it and see if we can get back to you, see if we're happier. Yeah. After a week. How long yeah. do you think, it, could, is it immediately that you'd notice a change in the atmosphere or in people's mood? The bubbler, the people that, that put the bubble will, no, will notice instantly. They feel it they, just like we did. You, know, you feel it instantly, okay? It does nothing but get stronger over time. Oh. Yeah, and, and so, you know, it, it, it'll get to the point, and, and some of the ones are very strong, it's all vision distortions. Everything is fuzzy, like a Monet painting. You know, the whole of everything, you know, is fuzzy. And that is the nature of images coming out of 2D. Because there's no polarity, so there's no defined edges, so everything is fuzzy. You know, and so everything starts as a seed, then it goes to an image. That image is fuzzy. And that image mirrors up through the starting seed level, down around plank length. You know, in the four-sided ethers, and it mirrors, it mirrors up through, you know, from one to the next to the next to the next. It mirrors up through and gets more and more defined until you come to a, there's a boundary layer between the four-sided ethers and the hexagonal ethers. That is pentagonal, you know, five-sided. And the five-sided ethers is where the magic begins, where differentiation starts. Mm -hmm. And also the five-sided ethers broadcast that image into the hexagonal ethers. And th that, that image is then made manifest, given that there's enough energy behind that image. In other words, uh, that it fits with basically the images that are imposed upon us from predestination, you know, predetermination. You know, it, it, and those images are all in our aura, in our anu, and we replay them continually. It is our aura or our anu that we're affecting here. And it, it needs affected because it's not connected to our bodies. Our bodies have infinite awareness. Our bodies are aware of the past, present, and future. They have infinite awareness by kinesiology. Uh, and the, the Max Planck Institute, you can look this up. Human body knows seven seconds before what the mind's going to decide. So, it's like I've been saying. The 22 people that went to Manchester, you know, the, the thing, and Concept. died, you know, and... and their body knew a death event was coming and it let them take, the, they let the idiot take them there anyway. The idiot being our mind, which has obviously nothing to do with our body. <laughs> because if it did, there wouldn't be anybody who showed up there, would they? <laughs> but we like to die, it's part of the program. <laughs> And we do it by a peer pressure. You know? you know, these mass extinction events are due to peer pressure. You know? yeah, yeah, it's like craziness, you know, I mean, and why peer pressure? And that answer will blow you away. Every one of us is painfully bored with knowing everything, okay? You know, our bodies know everything. How can, how, like I've always said, why don't somebody introduce me to my asshole? Because it, I know it knows more than I do. You know, I need a proper introduction, please. <laughs> but it turns out now it's got to be your heart, you know, because it, it's not only, it's nice, it's a nice person <laughs> compared to us. <laughs> I think this euphoria is kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> so it done these. Yeah, thank you, Carlos. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. I think he needs one more after this, Mike. 
Yeah, it's almost two more. Two more. One more anyway. One more. You need more water? I think it needs more water. Okay. It's got to be fruit. So is, there is still, it's still worth making those little cakes. What do you call them? The, what was the, your little ones that you've made in the uh, cake well, tin? They, they call them tower busters, you know, because people put them around, uh, around towers. Why don't, why don't you uh, sprinkle some of this DE in there, as yeah. well as some of the uh, uh, crushed up quartz crystal? These crystals, one thing that does work very, very well is taking the crystals and putting them right by the copper pipe. You know, right on the copper pipe, touching it. More love. There, do you feel that? You feel no. It? <laughs> I'm not as sensitive as you. No, nothing yet, but it will be. No sense, no feeling. Yeah. So that's that. And more frankincense, maybe, on this layer. No? It won't hurt anything. Won't hurt him. Okay. Thank you, So this one that I've got, if I put it in my bedroom, would that be a good place? Yeah, best place. Yeah. No. But then would it be ideal to have one in each room? Uh, not if you're going to run a computer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Because it simply won't work. Wow. The, the very, very first thing we do, these bubbles, and you, you do it again when you get home. Bubbles, please protect all electronic commitment, equipment and enhance the way that it works. Enhance the, the cell phone signals and the Wi-Fi signals. Let them work better and also make those signals be healing as opposed to like Wi-Fi as a mitochondrial poison. We're going to change that to healing. Okay, no problem. Cool. Bubble says that, and they'll do that. Okay. okay. So you can make your cell phone and all your electronic equipment work better at a distance. Mm -hmm. If you get too close to the bubble, it won't work at all. Like yesterday, <laughs> my phone wouldn't work yeah. at all. Yeah, when we when we powered this up, the, mm. yeah, the cell phone signal went away. Yeah. Until we asked for it to come back. Which we did later, and it was okay. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> we did. Yeah. It's, it's very simple. Humans, you idiots... <laughs> make the entire multiverse. You do. This is proof of it. That's what we're trying to prove to you. You know, that you collectively are the god of the entire multiverse. Now, and because you guys are god, then please fix the place. <laughs> <laughs> Use your mind properly. You know, but the beauty of the euphoria is it's a no-brainer. It's because it, it, the euphoria, the, the only way that this, these things manifest anything is in euphoria. And so anything that you request to be made manifest in euphoria, like we've stopped all hurricanes on planet Earth since May, okay? And, and the way we did that is in euphoria. You, you ask, I am sending euphoric energy to hurricane so-and-so. Now, so be it. Bam! Done! Finished! <laughs> you know, well, the other thing is you dance with it, you put the bubble around it. We'll do the intention, installation, telepathic inten intention, installation process in another video. You know? And, and th that's, that's another important part of the bubble, is that it proves to you that you are telepathic. Your body already is. Then you can get introduced to it by somebody. <laughs> In this case, it's the bubble introducing you to it. You know, 
and it's 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 a change for the entirety of creation because the euphoria supplants fear and love okay the fear and love go away don't exist anymore because it's all just euphoria mm -hmm. yeah okay we're going to do slight camera repositioning okay uh, and uh, just get that up a bit more we don't can you see if that uh, it's just to sort of do an end bit you know mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a bit more. Yeah, because I suppose you could... A summary of something, and I'll do something different with this camera. I get the... It's the I last one now. Mud on my eyelid. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Concrete it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going to carry your own device around with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to... Do you want your uh, stick, honey? Blue and organic you? device to the side of my head. Yeah. I suppose... I was going to ask you that because it we need to know what's happening with these don't we and you've got your facebook page bubble tech yeah people like, could, could they're posting all the time aren't they i just get a bit slight angle with this camera okay do you go on that page a lot and have a look and yeah. see what people are saying yeah yeah every day i have to i get people asking me questions on the bubble tech page mm. t-e-c-h Okay. Bubble tech is where everything's going on. Well, I think you'll probably edit that part out. Is that right, Miles? What? Will you be editing out that part that you? Uh, were yeah. Well, that, yeah. That's. Yeah. It's so. Uh, it's just. It's just that camera has had no shots because. It, but. Because um, I've been in the way. Yeah. But the, 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 it will. Yeah. No worries. I'll be editing this bit out. No way. Oh no, it's fun, Miles, seeing you. What did he say? He said he's editing this bit out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right then. Right. Wonderful. Go? Yeah. Okay, so what were you asking? I was asking you. Now we've made these, lots of people are making them. Mm -hmm. And on your Bubble Tech face page, Facebook page, mm -hmm. people are posting their experiences, aren't they? Oh, amazing stuff. You know, curing a cancer, stopping hurricanes, stop the volcano. Very, very, very much looks like we really did stop a volcano. Because the way the, the volcano in Hawaii stopped was from full flow one day to full stop the next day and it hasn't come back again. You know, and that is the hallmark of a spiritual intervention is because that everything happens in quantum leaps. Everything, everything actually blinks in and blinks out. You know, so it's a quantum leap every microsecond or a big bang every microsecond, if you will. You know, because, because every microsecond we provide the images from our collective subconscious that makes the entire multiverse. That's the holographic principle. And, and, and science has also found that the entirety of the universe is a holographic projection from Earth. Earth is the center of this universe. All of the galaxies, of, in the known galaxies in the universe, lay out in concentric circles around Earth. It's the only possible place that can happen, isn't it? Okay. Uh, the other thing that makes it really obvious is that the cosmic background temperature and the cosmic background radiation are both uniform throughout the universe. Except there's two anomalies in the cosmic background radiation. One of them lays in the orbital plane of the planets around the sun, and the other one crosses Earth. It is. X marks the spot. This is right here where we're at. This is the center. This is where everything comes from. We are the makers of it, and this bubble tech proves that to you. <laughs> Uh, and and so hold your mind right. Start doing things proper. This also breaks us. It breaks us out of duality. It breaks the, the major change coming. You know, we got this event that's that's meant to be any day now. Uh, that may be two or three months from now. But they're they're meant to be in an event. Then the, the nature of that event is that uh, it will be darkness. Three days of darkness. And all of the all of the plastic in the oceans will be expunged. All, all of the man-made material everywhere will be expunged. You know, like if you're wearing 
you know, rayon shirt, it's going to disappear. <laughs> you come out naked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, that another looks, show, that isn't it? That just about perfect, buddy. Job done. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So you keep up to date with your Facebook page and you answer questions, don't you, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's, there's Bill Tizing is the discoverer of the bubble tech. And then Bubba, uh, you know, Bubba Dumbass, he goes by, is a former Navy SEAL. He doesn't want anybody to know his name. So he goes by Bubba Dumbass. <laughs> but he's a, he's, a, he's a shaman. He's a wizard. You know? And he's, he's done amazing things. That's where the, the uh, uh, rodents and the, have been yes, sacrificing the yeah. cells. All the mosquitoes and the flies are gone. And, and the, he's, he's got a cactus there, okay? These big, like, sequoia cactus, they bloom once a year, okay? It's been blooming every week for three months. Oh. It's bloomed 12 times. <laughs> That's good. Right. And, uh, and, you know, it goes on like that. Totally phenomenal. Great. Right. Okay, this is done. That's done. All this needs to do is set up. Mm -hmm. Does look a bit crude. Hmm? Looks very crude. Crude, yeah. Mm. Rude and crude. Yeah. But guess what? It works. But it's, yeah. Organic. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it then, so go and make some. Yeah, right. <laughs> we need 50,000 bubbles to shunt the entire plant into dream time. Start making your bubbles now and don't stop until we see dream time. Okay? Thank you much, Miles. I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank guys. You. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I'll help clean this up.